I'm Ray McKinney, a district manager with the Mine Safety and Health Administration. Over the past several years, there have been numerous accidents and fatalities related to over-the-road haulage trucks, much like this one. A large percentage of those accidents and fatalities occurred due to the truck not being maintained in safe operating condition. The person who has the greatest impact on ensuring the safety of the truck is the truck driver. There are numerous precautions that can be taken, but one of the most important ones is a good pre-operational inspection of the truck. This inspection can be accomplished through three simple steps. The first step is a thorough visual and physical inspection of the truck. This would include examining the braking systems, the steering mechanisms, the tires, and other pertinent parts of the truck. The second step would be to identify any hazards that are observed and report them. The third and most important step would be to correct these hazards prior to putting the truck into operation. Of course, we know that if a hazard is detected during the operational shift, we should remove the truck from service and correct that hazard. Remember, when it comes to the safety of your truck, you're in the driver's seat. When conducting truck inspections, ensure that the truck is not loaded, secured from movement, and in a safe, level area. Highway haulage truck traffic on our nation's mine properties has increased in recent years. And so have the number of serious accidents involving these vehicles. To help alleviate this situation, the Mine Safety Health Administration is introducing truck inspection procedures based on the North American Standard Inspection. Check the area around the haulage truck and the general condition of the truck. Wheels may be chalked if required. Look for things under or near the truck and look for any fresh leaks. Check the steps, hand grabs, and door latches. Check the mirrors and mirror mounts. Now, Check and make sure that the park brake is set. Check the steering sector, drag link, tie rod, and steering jack ends for wear or loose components. Check tire for tread wear, exposed plies, cuts, bubbles, proper inflation, and separations. Check the wheel for cracks, loose or missing lug nuts, clamps, and slippage. Check rims and rings to ensure they're not mismatched. Looking at the suspension components, check for broken or missing springs, spring hangers, U-bolts, and axle alignment. Observe brake components for loose or missing brake chambers, slack adjusters, and brake valves. And check for broken or damaged brake lines. Check oil levels, coolant levels, belts, and look for leaks in the engine compartment that might cause fire hazards. At the right steering tire, check the tire, wheel, steering, suspension and brake components, as was done on the left side. Check steps and handholds for defects in excessive mud or debris that could cause a possible fall. Check condition of door latches and mirror mounts. Check fuel tank for leaks and loose mounting and the exhaust for leaks and loose mounts. Airlines for chafing, proper connectors and leaks. And check the electrical wiring for insulation and proper connections. Look under the truck to check. Drivetrain for loose U-joints. Loose or missing suspension components such as springs, U-bolts, torque rods, equalizer bars, mounting phalanges, and shock absorbers. Axle alignment. Loose or missing brake components. Fluid leaks. Loose or leaking air tanks. 
check drive axle tires and wheels, and check for foreign objects between the tires. Check the fifth wheel mounting for signs of excessive movement. Next, check trailer frame for cracks and look for any unsecured parts, such as a spare tire. At the right trailer wheel area, check tires and wheels. Look for foreign objects between tires. Check the suspension springs, equalizer bars, trunnion bar and caps, and mounting bolts. Check brake components for loose or missing parts. And check air tanks for leaks and mounting. At the rear of the trailer, check the condition of the tailgate latches. At the left trailer axle area, repeat the same checks as you performed on the right side. Moving along the left side of the trailer, check for loose components and frame cracks. Check the tires and wheels on the left side of the tractor. Look under the left side of the truck and check U-joints, suspension, axle alignment, brake components, leaks, air tanks, tires and wheels. Check the fifth wheel mounting to determine if the fifth wheel lock lever is in the locked position. Check the second fuel tank for leaks and for secure mountings. Check to see that the battery cover, connections and tie downs are secured and free of excessive corrosion. Check your fire extinguisher. Once in the cab, give it a good visual inspection. Look for trash, tools, or any loose object which could interfere with the controls or be tossed around if the truck should stop suddenly. Adjust your seat to make sure you can reach the controls. Check your windshield and other glass for cracks which could impair your visibility. Set your mirrors to their proper adjustment. Sound the horn and start the engine. With the engine running, check all gauges and warning lights, which should read in the normal operating range. Check the low air warning device. Turn on your windshield wipers and check them for proper operation. Put your truck in reverse. Your audible backup alarm should work automatically and give an alarm that can be heard above the surrounding noise level. With your park brakes set and your transmission in neutral, turn on your service lights and dismount the truck. Walk around the truck to look at the lights. Check and bleed air tanks and check for fluid leaks. Now, re-enter cab and put your seatbelt on. Release the park brake and set the trailer brake. Pull gently against the trailer to be sure it's hooked up properly. Then, release the trailer brakes. Build up speed to a maximum of five to seven miles per hour, and then apply service brakes. And note any pulling as the truck comes to a stop. The next check is to test your park brake. Note any problems found during the inspection procedures and report these to management. As you operate the truck, be alert for any problems that may develop during your shift, such as unusual gauge readings or engine sounds, or changes in the feel of brakes or steering. Make it a point to know your machine. Learn to recognize any signs which point to a problem. Make common sense judgments a part of your daily work habits and you will increase the safety factors and decrease the possibility of accidents.